Right, can anybody change question? A C34, June 2015. Um, we've got a right circular cylindrical rod. Uh, right, the right bit just means it's sort of a right angle, um, so it's not cut off at an angle. Uh, expanding as it's heated, the radius is X, and the length of the rod is 6X at T seconds. It does the, the rate of change of the cross sectional area, and that's constant, pi over 20. Uh, and we've got to find the rate of increase of the volume when X is 2, and give your answer in that form, K pi. Um, so basically the question is, it tells us the rate of change of the area and we've got to find the rate of change of the volume. Um, I, mean, I know that the uh, area of the end, the area of the cross section, pi r squared, sounds like area to me. So that's just pi x squared. Uh, and the volume, well, it's just that, that area multiplied by the length, which is 6x. So it's 6 pi x squared. And what we're going to do, we could connect the rates of change of the A to the X using this, and then the X, the rate of change of the X to the rate of change of V using this one. Um, so here's my sort of rate of change equation, just the chain rule really. Um, I've got DA over DT here, and with a DX on the bottom and a DX on the top. Um, we know this, this is what tells us in the question. We know this rather, we know, tells us that in the question, and we've got to find this, so we need to know what DA over DX is. Uh, if we know the formula for the area and then differentiate in terms of x, that just gives us 2 pi x. So sticking these two, the dA over dt into, into here and the, the, the dA over dt into here and the dA over dx into here, it'll give us the dx over dt. Uh, there's the dA over dt, there's the dA over dx. Uh, I can do it cancelling and uh, divide both sides by 2x, and I'll get dx over dt is 1 over 40x. And then do the same sort of thing with the, the v. I've got dv over dt here, and on the left-hand side, but I've got dx's on the top and the bottom. Uh, the dv over dx, I need to know, but I can get that from the formula for the volume, differentiating the three guys in front, power of one less, and then I'll stick it into here. There's the dv over dx, multiply the dx over dt, which I've just worked out. Uh, I can do a bit of simplifying first. Uh, x on the top, x squared on the bottom, I'll get rid of the x's. And the 18 over 40 is 9 over 20. So it's 9 over 20 times pi multiplied by x. It tells in the question that x is equal to 2. So I stick the 2 in, I get 9 tenths of pi. Method 2, slightly different. Um, uh, I've got, I'll write the dv over dt out like this again, uh, uh, in terms of a this time, um, but I don't know what v is in terms of a. Well, what I can do, I can write the dv over dA as dv over dx times dx over dA, because then I've got the dv over dA here. Uh, so the dv over dt, well, I know this, I've got that over here. This dx over dA, well, it's just this flipped. So one over the t one over two pi x, uh, and then multiply by the dx at dA over dt, which told me the question. Do a bit of simplifying again. Get rid of pi's on the top and the bottom, and an x, and I end up with eighteen over forty again, nine over twenty times pi times the x, and sticking the x equal to two. Method number three. <laughs> now, I'm not keen on this one to be honest. Uh, I, 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 I can try. I'm going to try and write uh, sort of the v in terms of a. Um, I, 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 I'm really not a fan of this one. Uh, but what the, the way I did it, um, uh, I got I could, if I cube this, I can get x to the power of six. And if I do the same, if I square the v though, again I get x to the power of six. So I can sort of eliminate the x to the power of six. The x to the power of 6 is a cubed over pi cubed, uh, or v squared over 36 pi squared. So they're going to be equal to each other. Um, and if I sort of rearrange it, because I want to say uh, v equals, really, um, 36 pi squared goes up here, and then do the square root. Um, I can cancel out a couple of the pi's as well. Um, if I, I simplify that a little bit, I've got the square root of 36 on the top. Uh, I can't do anything with the root pi, though. And the a, well, the square root of that is a to the 3 over 2. Uh, I want dv over dA. So we differentiate this. The three, and a half, three, over, 3 over 2 goes in front, give me 9. I've still got that pi on the bottom. And then 8 to the power of a half. Now, it tells me the question that x is equal to 2. Um, 
the area of the cross section pi r squared uh, so that's four pi the area and then, and then i'm going to put that into there so so I'll substitute it in nine over pi times the a to the power of a half four pi to the power of a half uh, that's just two root pi so the whole thing is just 18. um so that's what's going to go in here so the dv over dv over dt the dv over da which is 18 times the da over dt which is 18 times pi over 20 18 pi over 20 which is 9 tenths pi. Uh, 